Okay, I'm back, and you should set up your wall like this. And I forgot to put it the door back. And can get that up. And then in the back here, you need to connect that to that block. And this is where you gotta put a button. And then you get switches and put them on each one of these. Now on the back, put a piece of wall after every one of these, and then for the ones you need to press down for it to work, you put a torch behind. So I choose those two. And then with those ones you can put another there. And connect that to the here. So you have to make sure they all connect up. And then connect to this input. So for the ones that don't need to be pushed, you all always link them all up just in case. So if that reaches, that should be turned. Oh, you need an inverter. So just place an inverter here. Please get out of the way. Thank you. See now it's inverted. That should be on and that should be on. Now to know which one, so I chose this one and that one. I turn those two down and press the button. It should open. It was placed wrong, really. So, if you press the button, yeah, placed in the wrong place. Oh, damn you, dog. <laughs> oh, I should call you Sparky. Please don't put me again. You need to place it so it's open. Then, when power goes to it, it'll close and then it Stay closed afterwards. Oh, we're out. What's wrong with this? Well, it should work. About there. Let's see what happens now. There we go. So, if you turn one of these off or turn the other one down, it won't work. And that's due to the yes oh. and gate. It needs both of those to have power to go into it to open that. So that's like a combination lock you could use in survival multiplayer. And I'll fly up so you get a better look at it. So it kind of looks like that. Well, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, see ya!